how to lower lipoprotein little a. My name is Diamond Fernandez and I'm the founder and director of the HeartFit Clinic, your leaders in heart health. And today what I want to talk to you about is how to lower lipoprotein A naturally. Many times when you go to your doctor's office and you get a cholesterol reading, they might measure your obviously your LDL cholesterol, which is your normal cholesterol. However, this LDL cholesterol, if it's elevated, most times on a preventative basis, some physicians might even consider statin therapy or cholesterol therapy. It's not really, for my opinion, it's not probably the best way to go. I, I say try and do this naturally and then you can go to the medication route um, because obviously lifestyle changes can make a little bit of a difference. The idea is really to in reduce inflammation. Over 50% of people with normal cholesterol profile still end up with heart disease. So it's really understanding to lower inflammation. One of the blood markers that we come up with is lipoprotein A, and that's uh, a genetically predisposed risk factor to heart disease. Now, you can lower it. There's a lot of research out there that may say that you can't, but you actually can. I've actually seen it done, and it can change. Now, it's important, firstly, to focus, because you might have high lipoprotein A, you might want to know how can I reduce this naturally. Well, it becomes important to focus on your modifiable risk factors to heart disease. Obviously, my big five, exercise, nutrition, stress management, uh, obviously setting the right mindset, and developing strong relationships. Those are all big, important things. But what can you really do to focus on lowering lipoprotein A? Well, niacin. Niacin is actually shown to be, it's, a, it's just a natural vitamin B uh, compound there it can actually help lower lipoprotein A. It's been shown to do that. And especially if you have high LP little a or lipoprotein A with high LDL cholesterol, it becomes more important to focus on uh, lowering the LDL cholesterol. Remember, there's two different sizes. I'm going to go into that aspect uh, on another video. But LP little a, if you have with high LDL cholesterol, remember you have two different types of cholesterol. You have small kinds and large kinds. It's the small kinds that are more dangerous, that are what we call atherogenic in nature, that are, uh, are more prone to um, obviously causing plaques in our arteries. So niacin is actually a really good one. If you can withstand the flushing, there's also non-flush niacin, that really helps. Um, lower carbohydrate way of eating. I always just say try and eat as natural as possible and take away out the processed carbs because that's causing increased problems. So that's a big issue. And you want to try and have more fats in your diet, especially more healthier kinds of fats. That can help with, uh, with that as well. Another thing to focus on is also your hormones. Uh, hormones such as estrogen, DHEA, and testosterone, if those are out of whack, that can affect your LP little a or lipoprotein A. Uh, vitamin C, L-lysine, L-proline can help obviously lower, um, there's some good research on that to show uh, lowering LP little a. And even moderate alcohol, and that doesn't give you a license to go out and drink. However, uh, obviously moderate alcohol intake can help uh, with that as well. So again, you can read our blog post if you're reading this anywhere else. Go to our website, heartfitclinic.com. Go on our blog and read about this in a little bit more detail. And I look forward to helping you live happier, healthier, and longer.